Hey guys, Jonathan here. I'm going to do an unboxing at the moment of the Orico NVMe M2 SSD enclosure. Now, I was sent this out by Orico. Um, this isn't going to appear on the main TechWiz Time channel. It's only going to appear on my personal channel. So it's just, I, I'm trying to branch out a little bit and do different things and I'll experiment over here rather than on the main channel. So yeah, I thought I'd just yeah go with that anyway. But, um, and again, this is going to be uncut. It's going to be, yeah, completely raw. I'm, I'm not too concerned about hits or anything over, anything like that here. So anyway, um, this one here will allow you up to 10 gigabits per second, um, which will be really interesting. I, yeah, I, I haven't actually tested any NVMe external storage before so this is one of the first ones so let's have a look what's inside again this was from orico okay all right so there's the unit itself it's got the stickiness on there for all you asmr fans out there there we go all right so a nice and clear little unit. It's got a heat sink in there as well. And that's actually exposed on top. I'll just have a look and see what else we've got in here. All right, so we've got a short USB to USB-C cable and also a USB-C to USB-A, as well as it looks like some thermal pads there and a little screw. And, oh, they've included a screwdriver as well. Awesome. I keep looking at the monitor. Sorry, guys, I, I should be looking straight ahead. Um, all right, and we've got some information cards there as well. So what I'll do is I'll throw all this to the side for the second. And let's have a look at this. So looks how, like how you get into it is to actually remove the heatsink on top. No, that's wrong. <laughs> this this is when reading instructions would probably come in handy. Let's, okay, let's have a look. I might do some cuts. Okay, so it does only support the NVMe protocol, so it doesn't support the B key version of M2s. Okay, so it's a slide. Ah, okay. So using the heat sink, you can slide that open like that and then it will come off. Awesome. All right, give me one second. I'm just gonna grab an NVMe drive and I'll be back. All right, so I've got a 960 Evo there. Let's have a look. So, throw the key in. Actually, there's a step that I'm missing. I need to do the standoff screw first. Oop. Again, maybe I should read the instructions. All right, so pull the actual unit out first. Install the M2 interface. Okay. Then install the fixing screw I'm guessing it means this one. Aha, okay, so it actually slots in 
the little notch there on the on the NVMe drive. So it goes in like that. And then use the screw from behind. So I guess that's so that way the screw doesn't make the top section thicker than it has to be. Okay. So that's in there now. So I can throw that back into the case. What do you think of the uh, new lighting as well? I've just changed it up in here just to give it a little bit more color, you could say. This should be appearing on the main channel shortly. Uh -huh, there we go. And push that into place like that and it's done. Cool. So that's it. It was pretty simple to do. Um, I'm not going to go further with any testing yet, but I will on the Tech Wiz Time channel. Um, I've been asked to release this a little bit later. Um, so it won't be coming up right away, but it will be towards the end of August when this one comes out. So keep an eye out for it if you are interested in speed tests and so forth. I'm going to go through and test this with the Intel um, 660p as well as the Samsung and just see what sort of speeds I can get across the USB-C to USB-C. Here it is. No, it's not. Ah, there. The USB-C to USB-C because apparently um, one of the things, and I've got to do testing on this, um, you'll actually get more speeds out of the USB-C to USB-C and especially if it's a shorter cable and a better quality cable. Um, this one here, it's a little bit longer. I'll be interested to see if there is any speed differences. And then I've got a couple of other USB-C cables, which I'll test as well, just to see, yeah, what is going on there. So anyway, thanks for checking this video out. Um, yeah, if, if you come across this and you're not already a subscriber of TechWiz Time, then yeah, pop over to that channel because I'm releasing tech videos over there all the time. This channel here is purely going to be for unboxings and any sort of tech that I get in that I may not be able to cover straight away on the TechWiz Time channel. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and yeah, we'll see you next time.